Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. If you've got a small pasture or if you have thousands of acres of pasture, one of the most important things you can do is keep weeds under control so you can get more grass growth for your animals. And when we're thinking about weed control, fall is a fantastic time to control weeds and pastures for a number of reasons that we'll talk about today. Whether you're a farmer or you're just a non-farmer with a little acreage, there are just some important lessons that we want to talk through here. Number one is if you do have a small acreage and you do not have a restricted use license, in other words, a private pesticide applicator's license, you can still go out in most states, if it's your ground and you're just talking about a handful of acres, and spray products out there without a license. We don't encourage that though. We want you to get a license. We want you to understand how to use these pesticides. And also then, you would be allowed to buy products that are considered restricted use. In other words, in pasture, we've got some good options that you wouldn't be able to use, including Tordon and Grazon, if you didn't have the proper license. Well, the other thing about getting a license is just understanding pesticide safety more for yourself. So you aren't worried about, boy, I really wonder about this stuff, if I'm doing the right thing or if it's going to be safe for my animals or my family around. Uh, you, you don't need to be in that situation. It's really easy to get a license in most states. You just have to do a little bit of studying. It's not a real big deal. But again, you feel much more confident and you have access to products you wouldn't otherwise have. Yep, so that's the first and most important thing that we tell you. Make sure you're getting that license. Number two is when Darren brought up the whole fall application thing, we talk about fall so much because a lot of these perennial and biennial weeds are taking lots of nutrients and they're throwing it down into their great big root systems below the ground. It's a great time to get pesticides also to go right along with that down into the big root systems of some of these plants and completely kill the plant once and for all. Well, the other thing I look at though, Brian, is when you're talking about a fall treatment, now that plant's trying to store up energy for the winter. If you can damage that plant, even if you don't completely right. kill it, if you damage it going into the winter, now it's much less likely to survive through the winter. So if we have a tough winter and we get some winter kill out there on a normal year, if you've got damaged plants, they're much more likely to die. However, let's talk about that damage first. So let's say that you get your first hard killing frost in the fall, usually that doesn't completely wipe out your perennial and biennial growth above ground. It just dings up crops like corn and soybeans, things like that. But after a frost comes, you are much less likely to get herbicide into plants because leaf tissue has now been damaged. So the reason why we're talking about this today, and you may say, fall? It's not fall yet. It's not even close to fall. Well, yes, but we need to have you thinking about this in advance. We want you spraying a couple of weeks before your normal first frost date in the fall, then you will have, chances are, a lot better success than if you spray after the first frost. And the other thing is if you need to go get a license, now's the time to do it. You gotta yep. get after it right away this week and get that license. In some states, it may take just a little bit of time to get that done. Uh, so find out where the classes are, if there are classes, or if you just need to go in and take a test, or if you can do it online. You gotta find all those details out, then you have to find where you're gonna get your products that you're gonna spray out in your pasture, and, and get equipment lined up and everything else that you may need to take care of. So it is kind of crunch time out there, unless you're all set to go and you've been doing this for years, you may have a little bit of time. But, but we'll get into some products here and, and maybe help you out making the right selection. Okay, so over the years, a lot of people that have pastures say, well, I just wanna get by cheap. Well, you can do that, but if you get by cheap, you're gonna probably have to spray lots and lots of times to do decent weed control. In fact, just today, when I was on the way over here for where we were going to film today, I talked to a guy who was out spraying some thistles in ditches. Well, guess what? Same guy spraying the same thistles in the same ditches, and the same thing does happen to us sometimes on our own farm too, where we find ourselves repeating the same pattern year after year. How about if we invest a few more dollars and do the job one time instead of doing the job eight years in a row. So if you want to go out with just 2,4-D, our recommendation is typically to use LV6 in the fall. Two quarts per acre will probably wipe out just about anything you've got in terms of above ground growth, but it's not real good at controlling below ground great big root systems on perennials or biennials. Otherwise, you can look at Tordon, Milestone, or even Chaparral. Now, when we're talking about spraying these products that get down into the perennial root system, oftentimes you're gonna see control last for more than a year. If you're in an area that gets 10 inches of rainfall or less, 
in many cases, we're gonna see weed control happen for at least a couple of years out of that because you haven't had enough moisture uh, to help break that pesticide down. Yeah, that's great, but the downside of that is you're going to have carryover if you ever turn that pasture into crop ground. So if you're planning in the next 10 years to turn your pasture into crop ground, don't use Tordon, don't use Milestone, don't use Chaparral. They're fantastic products and we want to use them in pastures, but the amount of time you would have to wait until you planted a broadleaf crop is going to be potentially up to 10 years. Well, here's the other side of that, Brian. If you've got animals that are grazing out in that pasture and then you're going to move them somewhere else, when they have all that plant material that they've just eaten that now contains some Tordon or Milestone, you have to be careful where their manure ends up. So if you run them over uh, somewhere else, like into a field, we have a lot of guys that will have cattle in a pasture and then they'll move them into a field to graze corn stalks, for example. They're going to, for a couple of days, need to be somewhere where all that manure can work out of their system to get rid of the torn or milestone before you get into a field situation. Just one of those long-term considerations. If you've got an acreage, you've just got a little pasture and you've got a couple of horses or a couple of head of cattle out there, this isn't a big concern for you. But if you're a crop farmer and also have some pasture ground, you're gonna move the livestock between the two things, that's where you have to be concerned about the products you're using. Okay, a couple last things. Tordon is the very best at killing trees. It's the very best at killing leafy spurge. Milestone is the very best at killing thistles. Chaparral, where do you like chaparral, dear? Well, I like that any of the woody species. So if you get some buck brush or something like that, that's where I really like chaparral. Okay, let's talk about safety real quick. All three of these products, very safe to humans. Now, certainly you don't want to take a bath in it or anything else, but Tordon, Milestone, chaparral, all very safe, especially when comparing them with almost any other pesticide in the market. Well, even too 4D that we were talking about, it yeah. isn't that dangerous a product. It's been out for 40 years and it's been proven not to be a carcinogen. Again, you want to use all the safety precautions that you're supposed to and read the label to make sure you're doing the right things but these are pretty safe products to be around for you and for your animals. Well, once again, we just think it's very important to get weeds under control and not just go out there and spray every single year or spray two or three times a year. Try to hit them one time, do a good job, and completely eliminate especially biennial and perennial noxious weeds. Well, fortunately, our Weed of the Week is just an annual brand, but it can be tough to control. Could you identify this week's weed? 